What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of RCF Podcast. It's your boy, Gordo Sexy. I'm here with my boy, El Hafe Alex. And today we have a very, 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 very handsome guest, El Senor Pache. <laughs> we go, we go pretty, well, we go pretty far back, I guess, like six years? Was it like six years ago when we worked together? Mm, like eight years, man. Damn. Damn, that was a long time ago. He used to pick up all the girls at Chuck E. Cheese, all the single moms. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I heard. Sounds like a brother, man. <laughs> In the Chuck E. suit? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Grab an ass. <laughs> dude. <laughs> He'd be grinding on the grandmas, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, they're the ones that know how to do it. <laughs> No, we were just experience. we were just talking about the um the soccer, so I guess we we can just continue talking about that. Um, yes, yeah, Pacha, say kind of what you what well, you do. Well, I have um a soccer team here in Hillsboro, Hillsboro, um, Oregon. Yeah, in the Hillsboro <laughs> League. Oh, okay. Sunday League, it's Sunday League. Yeah, um, is that is that the considered the Beaner League or no? No, they do call them. Yes, yeah, that's, that's Beaner League. That's Sunday League. Yeah, yeah let's go. And yeah. would you say that you have the best team in the league? No, I have one. Of, well, I, have, I have a good team in the league. Okay, okay. And what would what would you say that? Do you are you a player in the team? Are you a coach? Are you what are you? I'm coach, bro. You're the coach. What made you start coaching? Like, just because I I didn't want to play competitive no more, so I was like, but I still want to be around the game and stuff. Uh-huh. So I started coaching. Does your brother coach as well or no? Mm-mm. My dad's my assistant coach, though. Oh, really? that's sick. We're, like, we're both the coaches. We're, we're coaches. So he goes every Sunday? Yeah, you? usually, yeah. Nah, bro, you said it. He's your assistant. <laughs> no, I always say it. was <laughs> my That was the coach, too. So you're looking for sponsors right now, right? Mm-hmm. And we're planning on probably sponsoring, most yeah. likely, right? Yeah. 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 So, Help them out with the jerseys. With the jerseys. So we're going to go ahead and design those jerseys. Of course, the Ascend logo is going to be on there. So, guys, if you guys aren't following the Ascend Fitness page yet, go ahead and follow that. Uh, but, dude, I basically, in, in like, what kind of jersey are you kind of looking to get? I mean, based on, like, what you sent me before of the last jersey, we have a pretty open slate to, for whatever, right? Yeah. So would I be able to design whatever? Yeah, the only main concern is, like, if you're doing, like, the weed shop or something, not do too much, like, or try to avoid, like, a... a weed leaf? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Just so maybe, just so maybe those fools aren't, aren't being bitches about it. Yeah. No, do you, I don't... Do you know if they care about that? I don't know, dude. Because that's the logo right there, and, and... I mean, that, I don't think they would care. That that one, I, don't, I think it was it would slide. Just because uh, it, it could be, like, the little corner, you know? How, that mm-hmm. could be, like, our main one. You know how a club? No, I have a main one. Okay, okay. It's better. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That one might look good on the jersey. That I, I was thinking that on the side. Yeah, I was thinking that one on the side, and then the RCF one would look good on the side too. And I was thinking all of it embroidered rather than embroidered. heat pressed, like your hat. Mm. Yeah. Cause I feel like that would look better. I don't know. We we'll have to see. We'd have to see pricing, of course. But um, I was thinking the – I made a, a – basically, like, one of the – you know how a lot of the soccer teams have, like, a, a plate logo, basically, which is kind of which is kind of shaped like that, actually. I made one like that, but for – with the Ascend logo and then the, the Ascend name and stars on the bottom. It looks pretty dope. It reminds me a lot, like, of Team USA. Would they be mad if I put – not Team USA, but it's like that color scheme. What does it matter what color the jersey is? Do whatever you want. But what, what if they're what like other, what, uh, what like other teams? What colors do they have? Or what kind of stuff do they put on there? Well, well, another team right now. When with the, I've been gone from the the league, there's this team Santos that's been there, and they're yellow. You know, it's like Santos. Yeah. Brazil. They're yellow and like blue right there. Boom. Can you adjust the mic a little bit, like up? There you go. Yeah. Yellow. Like, so maybe try to avoid yellow and, and nah, blue. They don't even wear that often because it's going to be summertime. Oh, I see. So yeah. We could, yellow one. We do could you make, have a preferred color or you don't really? Nah, I'm, we're willing to represent anyone, bro. Just, All right, bro. If we put Pornhub. <laughs> 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 make it orange and black. Uh, 
Nah, dude. Fucking. I think I used to play soccer too, like a while back. Yeah, you right. told me. It you was, had a lot of speed. Like I had a lot of on. speed, but. Had. Had. <laughs> had. What do you mean? I have yeah, a lot of speed. Yeah, he has, bro. You're yeah, right, dude. Quick. I'm the most. Uh, I've been told that I'm the most athletic fat guy. I believe it. It's facts. I believe it. It's fact. Like I look big, but I'm not big. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so you pack this one? Yeah. Well. Yeah, but, but now, I was thinking, bro, you can't fucking lose weight now, right? You, you got you're still mm, fucking. You're I know that's hard, what right? I keep telling this guy. I, it's Gordo, the Gordo sexy, sexy right? bro. But he's like, oh, you gotta fucking lose weight for health. <laughs> fuck health, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, fuck your health. Bro. <laughs> what the bro. fuck? We live till thirty. That's it. Ten, four more years. You guys, yeah. <laughs> you guys with me? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> How old are you now, bunch? Twenty four. Twenty four. Damn, we're the same age then. 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, you aren't our age, huh? You're no, younger. Yeah, younger. younger That's hella crazy. What the fuck? I thought we were the same age for some reason. Nah, we're the same age as his brother. Dude, I wonder what happened to Thomas. Like, where's Thomas? I don't remember that guy. He kind of just disappeared. I don't know who that is. Thomas from Chuck E. Cheese. He the one that would do prep? Yeah, the guy that would basically hit on all the girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's talking about Thomas. You never hung out with him or talked to him or anything? Mm-mm. Oh. Not yeah. outside work. Remember when Jeff was trying to sell, like, the Advocare stuff? I don't even know who Jeff is. <laughs> the son's owner. I mean, the owner's son. Mm. No. Wait, no? The son's owner. He clearly kept to himself at work. <laughs> no? There's a lot of things I want to remember from that place. Like what? What do you mean? Not kidding. I nah. like Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese was lit. That Honestly, was lit. bro, it was tight when we worked together. Yeah, bro. dude. But I heard they got bought out. Like, huh? Like like corporate bought them out or something like that. The one here. Did they? I think so. Well, like they took over. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Brandon Hella put me on, bro. Huh? I did. No, nah, fool put me on. Bro. I did. Who's this size? I put him on. On there's this one girl there. Um, I won't say her name, but she was like, <laughs> I really like your friend. And I was like, I think he likes you, too. <laughs> good ass wink, man. Yeah. Bro. Did you smash? In the dough room. <laughs> In the dough room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, rem- there was like this whole conspiracy. I remember back when I used to work at, I don't know if you were still at Chuck E. Cheese at that time, but where they were saying how they would reuse pizza slices. Like at Chuck E. Cheese? I don't know. I don't think so. Did you ever hear that conspiracy? No, I doubt it. It was like trending where they were like, oh, this, like it's un, the pizzas are uneven. Like the, when they take the pizzas back that they don't eat, they just put those on the other pizzas, right? To Mm. save money. And (laughs) I remember like people were like, no, it's fucking true. Like it was a whole conspiracy. But I was like, I literally worked there. (laughs) Like that's, I didn't do it all the time. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't do it all the time. Damn, bro. That sounded fun, bro. I remember going there a couple of times. Dude, it was like, it sucked when you're floor, when you have to go be busting and stuff like that, because you're it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But when you're in the kitchen. And you're around everyone. Yeah, yeah, you're chilling, bro. Like, as long as you know what the fuck you're doing, it's pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Right? And we always had, like, everything locked down, baby. Yeah, it was so, pretty fucking good. We just chilled, bro. Like, we just chilled, listening to music. And how was the Chucky suit? Ugh. No, I didn't like that shit. I didn't. Did you do it? You had to do it, right? Yeah. Everyone d- had to do it, yeah. People would take turns. The manager would basically, like, make a Chucky schedule and, you know. Brand- Brandon saved me, though, because towards the end, I'd work Hella Kitchen with him. Because mm-hmm. we were good. And they, I, would, I wouldn't have to do it as, as much. I'd take it for him. Oh, so if you're in the kitchen, you don't have to do it? Well, yeah, you still do, but... But I don't know. They were favorites, right? You know, they, they can pull whoever they want. So. Yeah, I'd be like, "Yo, Shannon, come! On, I need this guy. I need this guy." And then, all right, hey, get in the fucking Chucky suit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bitch, get over there. <laughs> I think you took over some of my too. I, I like, did, yeah. I'd be like, "Dude, I want to do this shit. You take one for the team." Nah, I got it. I go kick some kids around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't need the shit out of a kid once. <laughs> on accident. It was on accident, obviously. Oh, yeah. How but does that even happen? Because you can turn way. You can't see your peripherals. You can only see kind of straight. 
But since the helmet's so big, like, you can't really see your peripherals, and there's kids running at you in every direction. So when you turn, I just, like, need one right in the face. <laughs> Did <laughs> you like, cry? Yeah, she started crying. <laughs> yeah. And her mom was just like, oh, my God. She didn't, like, get mad. She was just like, oh, probably, like, oh, you can't see. Yeah. What if she was like, can't you see? <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> I can't. But it was funny when, when uh, it was funny when he would come out in the Chucky suit. Because it'd be such a short Chucky <laughs> <laughs> with a big ass head. <laughs> I hated that shit. Oh bro. shit. And when Lupita would go in there, it'd be a skinny ass. Yeah, what happened to Chucky? <laughs> yeah, like damn, the Chucky hasn't found any cheese, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be like because sometimes Anthony would go and he'd be hot on an hour yeah. ago. It'd be like, what the fuck happened <laughs> with Chucky? Oh shit. Um Oh, shit, Anthony worked there too, huh? Yeah. Holy fuck, I totally forgot about I've that. I've seen that man in forever. I'm, Have you seen him? Well, I'm seeing him this Thursday. We're working out together. Mm. Yeah. Is he still in good shape? He's in really good shape. Like, better than... He's in better... He's bulking right now, so he's not as lean, but he's still... Oh, okay. He's still going ham at it. Um, Is he competing or no? I don't think so, Most... but we're recording for the page on Thursday oh, with cool. him. Yeah, I'm excited for... I'm excited for that. Yeah. The dope thing about this is is that the mics don't pick up like the noise in the back. No, I, I know. It's lit. It is I, pretty lit. I think the first the first time we actually tested them like really well was when we had this one girl on and they were having a whole ass banda out there. So like the room was shaking. It was like crazy. And you can like only kind of hear it. Yeah. Well, besides that you can't hear it. Which is kind of cool. You should have came last night. What happened? I don't know. I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> but he was. No, we had a we had a door, uh, dancing mm-hmm. course competition. It was like out oh, here. Yeah. I Where? Think, Did you here, say a dancing course competition? Course competition. Course. Oh, I thought you said a dancing course. Comp- course. <laughs> but uh, okay. yeah, I, I don't want to exaggerate, but I think there was like forty to fifty like people riding horses. I have. Bro, I haven't ridden a horse, bro, fucking since I was a little kid, bro. Well, there's some out here. Yeah? We're going to do it today. <laughs> They're not the safest horses to ride, but... I want that one in that black horse, man. The black horse? <laughs> oh, Renegade? <laughs> we sold that. Yeah, that. Bro, I mean, that fool's wild, man. Fool's a wild man. That, that one's huge. That one's a big one. If, if Simba were to be a horse, bro, he'd be that fool, bro. If Simba were to be a horse. <laughs> that's his dog's name. I know who Simba is. That's the spirit he would have, bro. They share the I'm fucking ins- same crazy I'm insulted. Soul. You're insulted? Oh, my God. You don't think I know his dog? Hey, bro, but next week we'll have a dog on the podcast. We'll see how you go. You're getting the dog? Yeah, on Thursday. Well, Thursday I'm filming, so you have to per- postpone it till Friday. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So, do you breed your dog at all? Like, or do you sell puppies? Mm-mm. Are you planning on it or not? Maybe. Or is he capado? No, he's not capado, but I think we might. Why, ha- why haven't you? Because you haven't really looked into it? Mm-mm. I don't know. It's because if I know, I know if I if I do, we're probably gonna want to keep one. And I, I What's wrong know. with that? Because I don't want another Wildweiler. Like, I'm done. I'm what do you want, Chihuahua? <laughs> I, was, I just want like, not, maybe medium or small dog. What, what, what's the downsides about having a big dog? They had, you need hella attention. Like maintenance, like taking them out for walks and yeah, stuff or like being that. with them. Like you can't, you can't be leaving the house all the time. Like you're right, you're gonna have to spend some time with the dog. Right, right, right. And then, and then, plus my next step, like fucking end up having kids. Where right? I want to have a fucking my Roddy and my kids. You know, that's a fucking. That seems like a lot. So I know, I, don't, I know, it's probably that's why we don't, we haven't looked into it. <clears throat> we we love we love our dog, bro. But that was a lot of work. But yeah. we, I mean, we we like him. We love him. Like, mm-hmm. You hear that, like Alex? That? <laughs> Good luck, bro. <laughs> it's fine, bro. I just put him in the cage. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a dog? I bought a pit bull. What if you train him good, wait? Train him good. That's a plan. Yeah. A plan. There, then yeah. You're but training a dog is hard. No, I was planning on getting him like sent out to get trained. 
for like uh, a month. Like you take them like a two weeks for a month, yeah, and they privately train them to like be exactly like, like you want them to be. Yeah. Do they beat them when they're over there or no? Probably. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know what consists. Like I wish we would have said Simbo, bro. Loki. Cause he crazy or what? Cause huh? I think like the most important thing is like for them to like follow you. And, like, when you call them to come to you? No, I think the most important thing is to be able to communicate, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if he wants to go outside. He or, has to be able to know how to tell you. Or, like, communicate. Be like, dude, don't don't take the food off that table, mm-hmm. you know? And be like, just communicate, have some rules and shit. Right. Do you do that? No. That's what I love about that. Like, the dogs, like, he barks a lot. Like, the UPS guy and shit. Amazon and shit. Mm-hmm. At the window. It's really he doesn't cool. like Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he fucked that fool. Fucked that. <laughs> <laughs> that fool likes Elon, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, he wants to go to space. So Your dog wants to go to space? He told you that? Yeah. Well, How'd he do that? I'm kidding. He barked twice. He bark. He yeah. barks at the sky? Yeah. So I'm saying you got to be able to communicate. Right? Yeah, I guess that... You wouldn't know, bro. You don't have a dog. Yeah, no, I... I'm not... I'm, I don't know either, but I'm just saying... It's... I've been called a dog by girls a lot. <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. I say you are a dog, bro. Yeah. So I know. Oh, then I know how to communicate with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good this guy. Oh my goodness. Damn, about you. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Yeah. So last time it was at Eric's place. Remember? What were you guys doing at Eric's? Have he invited you or what? Eric, who? It was up there in the fucking... Oh, in the, Eric, in yeah. The, in the farm, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I know the... Uh, Javi? Or... Yeah, Javier. Well, so. That's the day that they fucking gave him a big-ass wedgie. Yeah? yeah you know? <laughs> On his birthday? Yeah. <laughs> no, mommy. Like, they all picked him up off, off his boxers. Yeah, right? I don't remember that's that. That's fucked up, bro. I think I might have been fucked up. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. That's how f- Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. Like, they, <laughs> they him did him dirty, bro. Damn. I think I might, I, I might, have, I might have been helping. <laughs> I think you were. I think you were. Uh-uh, I don't know. Oh, I wasn't shit. with him. That's fucked up, bro. No, yeah, that's a dope. They're, they're cool. Why'd fa- they even do that? I don't know. They're a cool family, though. They're cool yeah, people. Yeah. How do you know them? Eric's like my, my homie, bro. Like oh, he's family, just a homie bro. from soccer or what? Mm-hmm. You guys went to the same school? Went to the same school f- since seventh grade, bro. I feel moved hella close to, to me. Oh, shit. We used to, when we grew up together, because we were in the same soccer team with my dad. Yeah. So we practiced together. Oh, uh, so you guys are like... When I, I, I met up at church, bro. Um, Him and his family. How somebody that go to church becomes such a fucking demon? <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you, not Eric. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. But I met him at church, and yeah, so I know that. Yeah. I met this guy at church too. Did we? No. <laughs> but church is good. You believe in God? Yes. This guy says. What do I say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe in God? I do. I believe in a God. I believe. Yeah, I think I'm in the same place. Do, where you, I- do you have a religion? No. Do you follow a religion? Kinda, I guess, like just because of the family, like is all Catholic in a way. I don't necessarily believe. So you believe everything Catholic? Not everything. Or, but you follow Catholic? Kinda, like I'll go to, like you know, like for like the Virgin and stuff when they do that, like stuff like that, or I, I guess to church here and there. Very rare, but here. And you there. Christian? Me? No. Well, nah, like, I'm I'm not religion way. I'm a free agent. You're a free agent, <laughs> whichever one pays me to join. <laughs> nah, I can't just believe what I what I what I feel like. Yeah. It, it, it's Do you right believe in aliens? Me, you know? huh? Do you believe in aliens? Mm, personally, I don't give a fuck about aliens, bro. It doesn't they don't affect me in either way? What do you mean, dude? Like, if you let a lot of them cross the border too much, like? <laughs> Wait, what kind of <laughs> aliens are we talking about? You I don't, don't know about you, which ones are we talking about? <laughs> well, aliens, the ones out of space. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about illegal aliens. No way. My bad. As we would have said, illegal aliens. <laughs> <laughs> no, those ones are illegal too, bro. The ones from space. It, it, I would say those are more, more hostile. The ones coming from space. Right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't yeah. you say? Nah, but I don't care about those guys. Those guys, I don't lose sleep over them. Because... 
It's out of my control. There has been a lot more like sightings lately. I know, that's, that's why I was bringing it up. Like, have you seen that? Yeah, I like, seen that. Like a lot of like people seeing like in the sky a bunch of crazy shit. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've seen it. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, yeah. What can I do? Like, if they come, oh, I might be fucked or I might not. You know? Literally, <laughs> <laughs> you might be so fucked. So it's like, what can I do, bro? <laughs> you can't really do nothing. Yeah, if I'm so being honest. Why am I worried about something like? But I don't think like, I don't think. I don't think there's aliens here. Not here in this room, but maybe like. I don't think there's aliens on Earth. Mm-mm. Why would they? Why would they keep secret? Like, what reason? If they're able to come here to this planet, then their technology is far beyond ours. Like, what reason would they have to be like, let's stay low key, right? That's true. Like, there is no reason. Like, we're basically chimps to them. Because someone could easily just, one of them could easily be, oh, I'm a, you know, some crazy one. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to go fucking over there. Meet but one of them. There oh, is. What if, like, the, the government, like, like they came to an agreement, like, oh, you can't be visible when you come visit or something. But what, like, what benefit would the, like, oh, like oh. I said, they're so advanced, so much more advanced that it's like you going to a zoo and making a deal with one of the chimps. Like, hey, every time that you come look at me, Make sure that nobody else like it's just, you or, know or what maybe I mean. Maybe they just come for a specific thing, bro. You know, maybe like some element out there, some, some water. Thing. Come get that real quick. So whatever they need, dip could be that. Yeah, bro. That's why low key, like, oh, I don't want these fools knowing. Like, I'm gonna come take some of this shit, say gold or something. You know. It's oh just, fuck! So what you're saying is that. They're Some taking other, the gold, so no, it's, like it's a good element. time to buy gold because it's going to be scar- nah, scarce. <laughs> no, Actually, gold that. went up in value. It did? Yeah, because you know how like, the, that one bank crashed? Mm-hmm. So people are getting scared and started investing their money more on gold. Which one? JP? No, it's like something like Valley. Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Mm. I just got fucked or what? <laughs> I think they loaned out too much money. <laughs> From what they actually had, and then people started cashing out or something like that. Oh, I no, see. No, I think what happened is they invested a lot of money in the stock market, and like the stocks went down so much. Yeah. And haven't recovered, so their fucking like value. Is what? How it went down compared to what they're saying. You did know? they bail mm-hmm. them out? And they didn't get yeah. bailed out. Oh, they, they got, did. They got bailed out. Ah, no, my man. That's kind of bullshit, isn't it? It's well, they get bailed out, but the government has to pay everybody a quarter mil. Yeah, it makes sense, but well, if you have a quarter or more than a, like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, but they had that one thing where you can basically get a loan out for a house with zero down. Well, it was certain states. Yeah, that was certain states. If you're like Mexican or something like that, Mexican, and black, mm-hmm. and minorities, basically. But are even Mexicans minorities anymore, bro? I, th- I mean, I don't know, dude. I think so. I think so. There's a lot of Mexicans, bro. In the West Coast, but I think when you're talking like, nationally, I don't think we might still be a minority. I don't know. I'm going to look into that. I think Hispanics aren't a minority. But yeah. Specific, you know? Specifically, Mexico might be. Yeah, I think he. I think he's right. Like Hispanics, like people from all over South America, mm-hmm. all combined, maybe there is more, you know. But mm-hmm. Salvadorians, not very many. In the grand scale of things, yeah. Hondurans. There is, but there's not that many. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Guatemalans. Well, do you see what they're doing? And I think is, I think it's El Salvador with with the uh, Salvatrucha. That prison. Yeah, dude, that's just crazy, huh? Tough love, right? Tough love, bro. What is that? What are they doing there? Well, the guy in charge is basically like he's putting his foot down against like those people, right? And uh, he's he has like crazy rules. I only know of one of them where if, you know, if they commit a crime like outside, right? Like uh, if that gang like kills somebody or commits a crime, then they'll penalize the ones that they have in the prison and won't feed them for a week or something. Damn. Yeah, like crazy shit like that. He's like trying that. to stop the violence. Yeah, something? he's trying to stop the violence. So he's like, "Oh, you you fuck up out here, then we're gonna fuck up all of these guys in here." And that's basically what they're doing, and it's actually working, I guess. 
because obviously like people are like damn like if i get caught i'm kind of like i'm really fucked right so yeah because see they get fucked up and then the guys in the jail get fucked up and they end up in jail and those guys are gonna fuck if, him, fuck him, them up it. exactly yeah damn yeah so, so it seems like it's it's borderline like concentration camps like cruelty yeah but i mean at some point you know gotta do, do what, do you, what gotta you gotta do, do baby I mean, Mexico can take some notes on that. But see, wait, no Mexico, Hella corruption, for, man. bro, it's insane. Was the the Mexican president was like, it's safer to live in Mexico than the United States mm. through a state? Mm, I don't know. I don't maybe know. it might be true. I, ju- I guess it just depends. If you live in Chicago, then maybe. Yeah, here Chicago is bad. Chicago is horrible. And then, and then, I don't know if there's many homeless in Mexico. I don't know. There's not that many, but there is. It's not as much, huh? There's hella here, bro. Here in yeah, specifically Oregon, Washington. Even Cali. Mm, yeah, yeah Cali's Cali is what. No, but they're fixing. The, they're cleaning it up. How? They're starting to clean it up. They're probably just moving them. Like get probably moving them here. <laughs> <laughs> Good <to> Oregon. <laughs> Take them to Alaska, man. Eh? No, they did ask. They had. Um, <laughs> I don't know how true this is. <laughs> to come to Alaska, <laughs> with freeze to death. But <laughs> <laughs> so no, oh, just, just kill the homeless. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. Oh that's, shit, that was a joke, man. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how true this is, but I heard that in California they were they would give um, homeless people free bus passes that came up to Oregon. No, man. Yeah, that's and fucked. and I think there was a. Um, there's a video I saw. I think it was on What the Fuck Portland or something. Mm-hmm. But they were like, if you ask any of these homeless people, like eight out of eight out of ten of them aren't even from Oregon. They're from some other state. Because I guess this specifically here and Washington, they have programs that help them at more programs than all of the other states. So they kind of come here to be homeless because it's the best states to be homeless in. It's it gets crazy, hella bro. cold here, though. It does. But they're not. Like, for example, like, if they're on the side of the freaking sidewalk with a tent, like, the cops can't do anything. Whereas somewhere else, they can get them to fuck out. Yeah, of that's there. pretty bad, bro. Because, like, remember when we went to Suavecitos? <clears throat> yeah. Like, bro, you walked that whole strip right there. There's, like, tents it's all, all over. It's all tents, yeah. I got some, they offered to suck my dick. For for how much? For five bucks. I don't know. Chad done it, dude. Yeah. I, well, who says he didn't? <laughs> <laughs> And we were with our girls, bro. We were walking. Suck your dick, five they, bucks. They weren't even girls. No, it was a girl. Oh. No, we were with our <laughs> girls, and they offered. Yeah. Oh. It was tempting because she didn't have any teeth, but I was like, no. Nah. Yeah. And I, I was like, baby, it's kind of a steal. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It's in the back burner for now. The fitness page is what's really popping off. I'm excited to hear what you have to show us for the jersey. Then it's gonna be dope. I can't show you guys right now. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the jerseys come out, or where we even get them. Yeah, because yeah, you need them soon, though. April ninth, way. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, where's the place that Wait, does? So, so you guys can get shirts and shorts then, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. What size do you get? The sh- well, just send me a text me of the sizes. Okay. Do you need socks too? Nah, no. Okay. Just don't wear white socks. Right? Shoes. Unless you want specific color of socks. About we need to be wear white socks. Can we do tattoos? Is that an option? Like, tattoo the logos on your guys' sleeves. You can tattoo the, the fucking logo on my skin. But you're wearing the shirt, so maybe like right here where you can see. Right. It. No, 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 right here, bro. Yeah, uh, you're, oh, like an eye drop, right, here, <laughs> right here. <laughs> do you have any tattoos? Mm-mm. No, me neither. Probably won't get any either. Ever? Just not, not something that interests you. Yeah. What does interest you? Like, what's something that you're like, wow, cool? What do you like to do, Pacha, besides soccer? Besides soccer? I don't know. Just go out, hang out with buddies and stuff. Like, I go to indoor, usually. Do you have a girlfriend right now? No way. No? Single. Ladies? When's the last time you had a girlfriend? Well, don't depress him. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I, was about to say, I, I mean, last I remember was like fucking high school, bro. <laughs> No, it hasn't been that long. No, it's because he like he he's not the type. He there, it's just he has so much love that he doesn't want to just centralize it to one person. Mm. It, there's enough for a lot. 
Yeah, yeah, like on indoor nights, we usually stay and, and sip after, you know, that was fun. Damn, where do you, where do you play dope. indoor? Do you in the... Um, in front of Jajure High School. Oh, over there. I don't even know where that's at. But Benny, I've been working with. Just trying to get my business going. Oh, what's that? It's landscaping. Dope, 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 dope. Have you seen, um... <laughs> have you seen, um... The fucking... Have you seen Julio? He's skinny as fuck now. Yeah. I don't know why that should be my... He doesn't even do landscaping. <laughs> what is oh, it? And yeah, I've been fucking... I'm going to start working out now. Stuff. Or exercising, not working out. Exercising. Do, do you work, like, by yourself in the in your business? Or do you have, like, people that help you out? Yeah, I have, I have people that help me out sometimes. In bigger jobs and stuff. Uh-huh. And my dad works with me. Sometimes, so... But you're the one that mostly does the jobs? Or you got, or you just mostly... Yeah. Do you have a route, or...? Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. When did you start that? Like four years ago, three year, three years ago. What's it called? It's Amigos Landscaping. Los Amigos? No, I'm just Amigos. Oh, Amigos, Amigos Landscaping. With, so hit up Amigos, Amigos Landscape. Mm-hmm. Well, Amigos? I was gonna plug it. That's dope. Nah, we, we're we're pretty. Bu- I'm pretty busy, bro. I have a church. You know. Have you thought of expanding? Um, no, but I'm always trying to get better clients. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I only have a certain amount of time. Can't do everything. Right. So you're trying to kind of uh, raise prices to get higher. Yeah, and do better work too. You know, I'm, of course. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn irrigation. So. Oh probably, shit. Probably gonna. When what? I'm older, I'm probably gonna be moving from like, um, like plants and those type of stuff to like installing new fucking irrigation systems for. Or you can have it all in the package. You know. Yeah, but mainly. I'm trying to focus on that, bro. Irrigation yeah. is way more paid. Right, right. Skilled labor. Right, right. That's so dope. What that is it? Something that interests me. But the one I've been seeing that's been busy, too, is Johnny. Yeah, Apple. Yeah, that fool's hard. He does hardscaping, right? That's yeah, Apple's not level, though, bro. Apple's good. He's he, good. Yeah, I don't do that type of work. What's that? He does pavers and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Walkways and shit. Retaining walls. Jesus it's Crazy Christ. shit, bro. I see. I Which like was Johnny? Brother. Johnny's your brother? No, I don't who's think he's Johnny. Johnny. He was, he's someone that went to Johnny Tsunami. Oh, oh, that's who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Tsunami. Bro. Johnny Tsunami. Why not just say that at first, bro? <laughs> you're not talking to Johnny. No, I don't know. Or you can plug his business now. Oh, well, G- Jesus Christ. Yeah, so if you need any landscaping. Hit up Amigos Landscape, of course. You have Instagram for the landscaping or just uh, through phone number? Just through phone number, word of mouth. But I'm, I'm busy as hell, bro. So don't hit him nah, up. I have, my <laughs> mar- <laughs> I have my marketing strategies, bro. Okay, you know? lit, lit. I, I, I studied fucking after my associates in accounting. So mm-hmm. I, know how to, I know how to be out there. Oh, my boy. So what's some advice you can give some people that are starting their business to get out there? Mm. Try try to learn the your trade as best as you can. You know, if self employed, you have to inspire. Be self inspired. You know, mm-hmm. so you can take a day off. You know, you can cancel a job. So you have to be self inspired. Mm-hmm. Try to learn the not only like trade but also like the financial side of the business. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you can benefit by knowing that. Right. Yeah, I feel like, obviously, when you're starting your own business, like, knowing the trade isn't enough. You have to know the ins and outs of the financials and stuff like that. And then know how to talk to, to clients, know how to network, you know. <clears throat> Would no. you say that you're pretty good at networking? Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's, it's easy to trust trust me, I think. Yeah, for me, it's easy. Even, like, in, it's I don't even only network and, like, my business at least soccer is a whole network thing bro. like they can they have so many teams they can choose from you know uh-huh. like why why they can play for your team oh so is there politics as far as like you know the, well, te- the well, team members you got you got a network you know yeah. like like if if there's a good player in the in in the league like not everyone can be able to go up to him and talk to him right. like, join my team it's a bit, but I don't know your team yeah so what's like the best what would you say is the best 
strategy to get the best player on the league to switch to your team? Uh, like, how do you that's get that's tough? That's tough because I started, I started having one of the best players in the league. I fucking had both Eric. There's two Eric's in the league, and my first season I had both of those fools, and those fools were the best. Probably one of the best in the league till yep. till this new team came in. This is good. There's solid players around, but when I started, those fools were good. So it was just tough because me, I started with having good players, mm-hmm. and good players want to play around good players. Right. So I I could easily sign players. You know, be like, be like, sign play my team, bro. You know, like, this guy's on my team. This guy's mm-hmm. on my team. We're gonna be solid, bro. Mm-hmm. Maybe like fuck. I want to play on that team. Do you guys get like um? Is there a winning prize for the tournament? There used to be three hundred dollars of credit. Oh shit! For the next season, but they took that off. So now it's just a trophy. Okay. And why did they take that off? Respect, I don't know. No, hmm. no, new guy in charge in the league. Fuck. He's like, I'll keep the three hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That shit hella helped us too, bro. Cause I would always make it to the final. Have you ever thought of making your own league? Lately, yeah, but how we'll hard see. is it? I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into all that, but maybe mm-hmm. I'd, I I could see maybe getting an indoor. Oh, uh, indoor league? Or indoor team? An indoor. Like, an indoor place. Oh, facility? A oh, facility. to, like, rent it out and shit. Like, trying to invest in one, maybe. Yeah, That's yeah. something I can see myself investing in, because I like it. I, I know how to get my name out there. Mm-hmm. And I'll be, like, happy being there, bro, right? you know? Yeah, that'd be pretty I love fucking soccer, right? Like, that one thing I'd love for is that shit. It's soccer? Would you say that's, like, your biggest passion? Soccer? Dope. It's it's easy to network with that, bro. Mm. Yeah. I mean, any really, any, any team sport is really good to network. You see so many people, and you guys are just there having a good time, so it's easy to kind of throw in some, some business in there, too. And then, like, um... Like I could go coach fucking a high school too. I think I could I could be a JV coach. The uh, for the guy in Westview wanted me to be his JV coach. Really, really, that's dope. Because he was my coach when I was young. He's like, oh, you're coaching, bro. Come, mm-hmm. come be my JV coach. <laughs> That'd be dope. So, so I, I I have a lot of opportunities out there. So, mm-hmm. But I'm just waiting to see what I want to do. Right, right. And where the but la- I have time, you know, like. That, that that opportunity is gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Like I'm plugged up right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that I think I think I I'd, I'd look forward to doing one day is is maybe when state with your high school as mm-hmm. a coach. That'd be kind of. And sick. I feel like I could do that, bro. I'm I'm a good coach. But that's different though, because if, if you go to a high school, you can't pay players. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm away, you know, when the opportunity is right, and I see fucking how <laughs> good players coming in. Yeah. Like, I think I can win with this team. Let me let me coach now. <laughs> <laughs> Once he sees an OP as team, he's like, you know what? I'll step in. <laughs> well, yeah, you that's know? good. I mean, yeah. Because I have a goal. I want to win. I'm not there. I don't want to go coach kids. Yeah. You know, I want to fucking help kids improve. Maybe try to get them into college. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. But yeah, I'm trying to win. win. Yeah, hell win, yeah. We'll get eyes on us. Yeah, yeah, true. I'm competitive. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna go to waste my time. That's yeah. true. I mean, makes sense. Do you play any other sport other than soccer? Or it's just soccer. I golf every once in a while. I like golf. Oh, what the hell? In the car, you know. And we always take it cooler and have mm-hmm. beers in there and shit. You any so good? You pretty good? Uh, I'm not the I'm not the worst, but no, nah, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> 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 I go there for the vibes, dude. Fucking riding the cart and shit, yeah. kicking it, playing night <laughs> holes. We gotta go practice more to often. Go, yeah, bro. but but I go a lot. I I stay try staying away from the course way because that's just tough, you know. But I but I go to just like the the shooting range. The shooting range. Yeah, right? yeah. I go we with Carlos go do that. way means he's going hella shoot. I uh, hear at McKay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We go out there and shoot. That's and you can take your cooler and shit. And just drink well, what well there? Yeah, you can drink whatever. You can do whatever. Mm. But if you go into the field, you know, in the grass, then you, supposedly you can't. You, I mean, you can bring your cooler and say, yeah, I have my waters in there. Yeah. Know? But a beer, you have to buy it in there. Oh, right? that makes sense. And it's yeah. like probably expensive. I've never bought a beer there. Mm-hmm. It's probably expensive. Yeah, most likely. So I just take my fucking beer, you know, and then when we're out there in the field, 
fucking drinking beer, hitting my pen and shit. Damn. It's the vibes, bro. It's so that sick is... at sunlight. Did you go with your brother? Yeah, or I gone with my brother and, and my cousins. Uh-huh. One, my cousin um, comes from from the military when he comes oh, to visit. Um, Army or? Yeah. Nice. Um, we, we usually, that's our go-to thing. We go into the golf course. Because that, that, food, that food's got loaded with cash. So he's always like, let's go to the golf course. Dude. I'll pay it. And he's always like, pre-orders it, you know. So you Savage. How, much ex- how it's, expensive it's is it? It's pretty expensive. Like, how much is it? Is it per person? I, is I, it, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but it depends which ones. But when we go with that oh. food, he, he likes going to some nice ones. So. Fuck. So it's like, what, 100 bucks a person or what? Nah, I'd say around 50 bucks. But like, like six of us go. Like yeah. 300 bucks. Supply everyone and shit. Mm-hmm. True, and then if you're renting, also like yeah, the clubs car and, and then the car. Well, we we have uh, Carlos has his club, so I'm spoiled not to show up. <laughs> he has his club. Oh, his clubs. Yeah. That's dope. How expensive are clubs? Are they pretty, pretty fucking expensive? Those right? get expensive. Yeah, I heard those got fucking expensive as shit. So, but what's like an average? Do you know? Like, do no, you know that much? Way, or I'm no? spoiled, way. I uh, just, I just pull up, bro. Damn, bro. I'm hella spoiled, way. That's dope, though. Yeah, that's cool. I think the last time that we went well, hitting balls was that Top Golf, right? But we it gets sucked. expensive there. And I had a, cl- a plug at Top Golf, so that's where I went like fucking over ten times in, the, in like the past two years. So. Damn, you're I got spoiled decent. as fuck, bro. You got plugs everywhere. Yeah, well, I network, way. I get, that's my talent, bro. Networking. Yeah, just meeting. I surround myself around good people that yeah that you know get my back or I have their back. Yeah, yeah. Know? Damn, that's sick. Or that wanna help me, like you know, it's all about who you know. Right, right. And the luck that you get too. Yeah. You have really bad luck, or it's why I'd be humble. Right. You never know what could happen. That's true. That's really good advice. Be just be humble. Be humble. Treat everybody right. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Alex? That's who is. Huh? That's why I like him. This guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. I'm chilling, bro. You're right. I guess you're right. Try to surround myself with good, good people. Is that why you stopped hanging out with me? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought to hang out with you. Right? No, I'm no, just playing, bro. <laughs> but every time I see, I see Brandon, I see him like twice in a long time, but... Those two nights I seen them, bro. I'm always laughing my ass. It's off, a good time, bro. bro. The whole fucking time, bro. It's a good Can't time. Stop fucking laughing. We always had a good time. We'd <laughs> hang out with William. You remember William? Oh, from work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I haven't seen him in a long time. Nah, I like hanging out with me and you, like us. Like, yeah, right, it's fun. It's fucking tight. Or, or with Alex, it's tight too. Well, I guess, yeah, Alex can tell you. Well, just with <laughs> this one there, I know we'll be laughing no, my ass off. No, this always fucking around. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he's funny. He always yeah, he's says sus-ass shit, my ta- too. It's my ta- that's my talent. Yeah. <laughs> Even when talent. you were fucking, like, at Chuck E. Cheese, hella fit and shit. Yeah. You were fucking funny <laughs> as fuck, dude. <laughs> dude, remember <laughs> Devin, bro? No, man. You just remember no. anybody, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I don't, man. Oh, yeah, dude. It was good. Damn, I used to be... I, I need to get back to that body type. You I look, can, man. I look good. You look fucking good. Dude, dude, you would wear suits all the time. Yeah, I looked good, bro. Be, bro, when, when Brandon would enter a room or a place, a store, anywhere... Immediately eyes on this. Floor, oh, bro. stop, bro! I swear oh. God, especially when you were with fucking Alex, bro. I, you'd be pulling up a fucking loud ass Camaro. <laughs> That's Hello true. fucking current the line in the fucking suit. Hello Dude. fucking entrance, bro. <laughs> Fuck! I gotta Remember get. I gotta get fit again. Yeah, I gotta. Bro, you knew how to fucking attract the crowd, bro. I think that's. I'll tell you that. I think that's gonna be my biggest motivation. It's gonna be um, just getting back into a nice looking suit. Yeah. You, you can rock a fucking suit, man. Not right now. Uh, not, not right, right now. now. <laughs> not right the now. fucking dude, not that fool. Fool look clean, man. He did, bro. I don't know why he decided not to. Mm, he fucking. Well, you were fit too. You would go to twenty four, huh? Yeah, I'd go to. Yeah, 24 I remember hour seeing you. No mind. You deadlift, I think. You were deadlift. And yeah, shit. yeah, you here and strong. there. You were solid. Yeah. Do you still go to the gym? Me, I, I have a gym. I'm gonna start going. But twenty four or what? Nah, I'm not moved right now. Just I don't want to see everyone, all the fucking high school reunion at fucking... In Beaverton? Oh, yeah. uh, at 24. Yeah. 
I, I don't have a lot of people, bro, so it's just, I try staying away from some people. Mm. I'm well, not even going to be able to work out, man. You come to our gym, it's opening in a month or two, right? Yeah. Where? <laughs> cap. <laughs> That's cap. He's capping. Yeah, but what would you, what's like one piece of advice that you'd give to somebody uh, just in life that would help them in life? I don't know. Depends your situation and what card you're dealt. And go with that win. That's some great advice. Because no one, no, <laughs> no one gets the same card dealt to each other. That's true. So. So basically. So don't follow everyone's advice. You know, like everyone has their own path. Okay. Their own journey. So mm-hmm. listen to your heart. And read, read your situation. You know, and do what you gotta do. To get to wherever wherever you want to end up. Mm. Do what you got to do, baby. Thanks yeah. for watching. Another episode of RCF Podcast. This is your boy, Gordo Sexy. Here with El Jefe Alex. And Josue. Fucking Brandon. All right. You guys ready to go get some bitches? Or? Fuck yeah. Chill, bro.